coming to you today from the third floor of the Rhode Island State House. My name is Dave Barber. In a segment we call Capitol Spotlight, we invite some members of the General Assembly in in five minutes or less to talk about uh, some things that are important to them and its impact on our state. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome back a gentleman we've talked to before, the Honorable State Representative Greg Amore. Uh, Representative, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, Dave. Thanks for having me here. You know, I know you had some um, strong opinions on the same-sex marriage legislation that uh, took place recently in our state. How much did it hurt you that, unfortunately, you had to miss that vote? Well, as a history teacher, uh, it's tough to miss a historic vote, um, and, that, and that was a history-making vote. Um, you know, I, I ran uh, with that on my platform. I was out front uh, on that, and uh, I voted for Rep. Handy's bill in January. I've spoken on many occasions in favor of marriage equality. I consider it a civil rights issue. Um, I've given a number of speeches where I've compared it to many of the civil rights challenges we've had in, in America's past. So I'm, th I'm thrilled that it passed. I knew that my colleagues were uh, on board in big numbers. I, I was disappointed to miss it, but the, the, the big picture is we've got, we got it done. Uh, it's good for the state. It's, it's good for advancing rights. It's, it's a positive thing all around. Well, and in fairness, we should mention you had a real good reason why you uh, missed the vote. You were attending a um, national state legislators conference, I believe it was in Denver, and uh, that was set up many, many months ago. And certainly at the time that that conference was scheduled, you had no idea that on that particular date, on that particular time, uh, this vote would be taken. Correct. It was, uh, it was just uh, poor scheduling, but we couldn't do anything about it. Uh, I was honored to be chosen as one of the early learning fellows. There are only 34 of us around the country. Um, and we're going to explore uh, education policy, early education policy, year round and try to craft some policy that helps Rhode Island and, and the country improve early education and so Im we can improve education overall and outcomes. I think this is an area where we really have to do some, some solid work because early intervention is the key uh, to, to preventing so much of what we deal with later on in the middle school and the high school as far as remediation, as far as uh, special education. I mean, it's, it's really where our focus should be on education policy. When, when you attended this conference in Denver, give me two bullet points of things you brought back that you either bootlegged from somebody else who shared a good idea or a concept uh, that's working somewhere else that come uh, top of mind. So right, right in the state of Colorado, they've implemented a pre-third grade intervention program because they know if we don't get them before third grade, it's, it's going to be too late uh, and it's hard to make an impact. And so that's legislation we looked at, we analyzed. It's something that we could bring back here in some way, shape or form to Rhode Island. Well, I also this week, and I don't know if you care to weigh in on it, we, we did a show with Representative Naughton, one of your colleagues, um, on this whole kneecap issue. Um, being an educator and somebody that's close uh, to kids and probably quite fluent in this whole kneecap concept, uh, any thoughts? I worry about the validity of that test and what it's being used for. I've had students who have been proficient in reading and writing and not in math. To me, they're high school graduates. Uh, so I worry about the validity. I worry that we're using it for something it wasn't designed to be used for. And I worry about the doors that may close on students who are not allowed to graduate based on this one item. Well, I know it's scheduled to go into effect 2000. 14. Obviously, uh, Rep. Naughton and some of your other colleagues um, are working on legislation to, to maybe alter that a little bit. Do you think that will happen? I think there needs to be a, a, a bunch of different pathways to graduation. And there has to, has to be high standards, and we have to hold students, teachers, parents accountable. I'm, I'm just, I, I really question whether or not this test is the right test for that purpose. In, in the wake of some of the school violence that we've seen take place in our country. And again, because of your proximity, being an educator, do you see the day when we will have police officers in every school? I'm a proponent of school resource officers in every school. And I, and I, don't, I don't think of that as a guard. I think of that as part of the school community that can, that can serve in many capacities. And one of those is a deterrent. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dave Barber. This is called Capital Spotlight.